Hey YouTube, welcome to this next installment of the Avion Blog. So today I just thought I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, some of the service that I've received recently from one of the local distributors um, who distribute a pretty well-known name called Bremen Multimeters or Bremen Multimeters. Uh, here in South Africa, the company is called Hillerman and Titan. Um, now, if you guys remember, I'm going to create a link now to the video attached here. My old TBM811 meter with the faulty LCD connector. Um, I basically took that with me through to, for a meeting today, and they pretty much gave me a replacement, a warranty replacement. No questions asked. They pretty much, without me even saying anything, invoiced it out, gave it to me as a warranty replacement. This is the new. TBM 811 with the dual display and all the new niceties. So what we're going to do today, I thought, well, as soon as we got this, let's do an unboxing and a review of the TBM 811. Okay, so here we have the box for the T, uh, TBM 811 Bremen. Now, the difference between this and my other Bremens that I've got, such as the TBM 812 and the TBM 829, is from what I can see on the back of this box, this one is not a true RMS meter but we will do some tests and see how it performs and we're also going to do some tests against the 829 or the 812 um, I think we'll start with comparing it to the 812 as they're more similar in the product range now if you flip over the box over here you have the entire uh, range in this sort of series of multimeter uh, if you look here the TBM 829 has pretty much got almost everything and the 525 is your uh, sort of flagship um, recording multimeter and you get the 812 which is one step down from the 829 and then of course the 811 etc now if you look at this the 812 under AC plus DC true RMS conversion yes under the AC the 811 however is not there so it can't do that but as far as functionality pretty much everything else is more or less on par is it really? Well, let's get in and take a look. Alright, first things first, we're going to open up the box. Inside it here we have the, the meter. We have our test leads. And we have a user manual. So, let's throw away the user manual like all of us techies do. No, I think I'm going to hang on to it and just see if there's anything about the meter that I didn't know about or something maybe in the manual. <coughs> the leads are the usual um, Bryman quality leads, quite decent. Uh, they feel quite well made. Some nice uh, strain resistance and protection over here. And uh, I see inside here is the certificate of conformance. So uh, let's get inside the bag and have a look. Here we have the certificate of conformity for the uh, meter with its serial number, etc. Just to basically say that it meets its um, sort of minimum requirements or conforms uh, in all respects to the relevant published specification. Um, so that's just a certificate of conformity. <coughs> then, of course, we have the meter. It's done the same design as the 829, 812, uh, 525s, the, uh, all the new uh, Bryman decent multimeters. Um, it's always nice to get a nice clean one. Of course it does have the PC communications capability on the back here. Uh, the usual sort of dials etc. And uh, yeah, and as far as what I can see, it is pretty much the same meter as the 812 uh, bar for a few things. So let me get the 812 out here and we can do a direct comparison between the two. Right, here we have the 811 and the 812. Now, the differences, like I said, is basically this meter is true RMS, this one is not on the AC side. Um, all the other functionality is exactly the same. The functions are the same, operation is pretty much the same, the display is the same. There's pretty much no difference between the two meters uh, when it comes to usability, etc. They both do exactly the same thing. Um, as far as doing a comparison, I think we can check out the backlights, but we're going to see the same sort of results on both meters. 
uh, we can probably check out all the functionality everything's going to be exactly the same except for that true RMS uh, function so let's go straight back and do some comparisons now between this and the 829 now we all know the 829 I've reviewed on uh, numerous videos and used in numerous videos again your basic functionality is the same this one does I ever have the temperature the conductivity and a few other nice facts uh, like record functions um, min max uh, all that sort of thing but besides that the capabilities are more or less the same this is a true RMS multimeter whereas uh, the 811 is not um, whether that makes a big difference in your life well that's for you to decide uh, when it comes to AC measurements the true RMS is, is very handy especially when working with things such as inverters and, and stuff like that where the uh, the non-true RMS multimeters can be a bit confused and read, give you the incorrect readings but um, all that said and done they're all fantastic meters so let's get down and do a few measurements now with the 811 and see how it actually performs alongside the 829 so right now we're putting out 1.242 uh, from our bench power supply I've measured you on the A29 and as you can see the 811 is sitting next to it on the DC side of things I'm just going to make a few quick random stops we go 2.539 2.539 oh, it seems to be bopping around in that region over there <coughs> we have 5.10 or 5.0 let it settle sometime today but as you can see Besides that uh, one millivolt difference over there, and slightly different, but um, everything seems to be good. We can go right up to what's it, 9.838, 9.841. Still pretty close. Everything's happy there. Now, one of the nice things I like about the Bryman is the option to check your AC ripple on your DC voltage, and that option is available in the 811 store. So yeah, that's good value for money. <clears throat> and as you can see, the readings are pretty close. We're about three millivolts difference between the two. Um, so yeah, that's quite good in all aspects. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's just quickly check it on the 12 volts. Okay, we've got 5.052, 5.054. Twelve, twelve 12.03, 12.03, so yeah, pretty much the same. The AC is showing as, notice this one was quickly at the 4 millivolt scale of things. This one seems to be still coming down, but we'll see when that settles. Okay, different functionality there. This one will basically do DC AC or DC. Whereas this one you can sort of maneuver things around a little bit and uh, do some different things, <coughs> which is quite handy. Um, but then again, the meters are two completely different class meters, so you can't really compare them. Um, for the resistance and stuff like that, I'm not going to even worry about doing measurements with that because I think it's all going to be well within its spec. Um, but one thing we are going to do is we're going to take a look at the new 8011s uh, inputs, a uh, few other things and just an overall feel of uh, the usability of this meter so what is the overall opinion of this 811? does it fill a gap in the market as far as the comparison to the 812 or the 829 goes? yes certainly it does because it is cheaper than the 812 and the 829 um, by a few hundred rand. Uh, it's a perfectly capable meter having your volts AC frequency um, of course you can swap the two around if you really want to um, it's got volts DC and you got millivolts DC as well as duty cycle um, you've got your millivolts DC and then your millivolts AC ripple frequency pretty much anything you could need for that then you've got your millivolts AC frequency and swap them around of course um, 
get your resistance <coughs> get your continuity buzzer which isn't latching but it is very responsive yep happy days with that you got diode test you got capacitance test um, as far as the spec of the capacitance test I will give you that shortly and you got amps uh, AC at the moment or you can go amps DC uh, or milliamps with ripple etc oh, pretty much all the same sort of functionality again and then of course we got microamps both AC DC etc so yeah it is a very capable multimeter capable of doing whatever you need to do on the electronics workbench and uh, definitely a worthwhile investment if you are wanting to take uh, home a really good multimeter with good functionality and overall uh, a really decent price bearing in mind this meter also does um, capturing on the computer I will be getting my hands on one of those interfaces soon uh, the TBU86X interface kit where I can actually do some tests with the logging functions of these using a computer um, so you do keep your eyes and ears open for that when it comes along and then also we're going to be taking a look at a Bremen TBM160 series clamp ACDC clamp meter shortly it has come in for um, some repair estimate works so we're going to be taking a look at it and seeing what we find wrong there so pretty much there's nothing else left to be said about the TBM811 like I said I'm not going to go through each and every function of it um, but I am quite impressed uh, with the service that Hellman Titan provided by swapping out my old TBM811 for this brand new model um, pretty much like for like I mean the older model uh, <coughs> was the original more square design than this this is the nicer more modern design uh, better screen better display better pretty much meter you could say um, and like I said there was a small issue with the other one it's not something that can quickly be fixed so they decided to go ahead and uh, do a swap out warranty for me thank you Hellman Titan as you can see the display is still the nice double display uh, that these meters are known for just want to see if the autofocus is working yes it is um, probe storage is still convenient at the back you've got your um, connection point over here for your PC interface a nice decent tilting bail uh, makes it nice and easy there you've got your UL um, listed sticker basically measuring and testing equipment um, pretty much proving that the meter is what it says it is um, then you've got made in Taiwan 9 volts DC manufacturing number uh, pretty much all your serial numbers etc on there and uh, yeah as you can see it is people say they, they look a bit unwieldy they're not really you can still hold them with one hand while you function um, a few other bonuses I've, I've noticed with these meters let's say for example <coughs> you're doing work in a DB box or something you can just clip it in probe and then measure around um, or the other way around if you prefer uh, the options are unlimited and then you can pop this into your neutral and then measure around with this over here no problem at all it works quite nice the probes are held quite firmly in here so yeah definitely worth the money thanks for watching YouTube